G'day and welcome back. Uh, change of pace, change of location, change of lots of things. Um, I'm not in the garage this time, I'm in my kitchen. It's a damn sight warmer. Um, it's evening during the week, I don't normally get the opportunity to do this. Um, I'm not in the kitchen for any reason, bar the fact that the good lady's away, so a little bit of freedom to create a mess elsewhere in the house, as long as I get it sorted by the time she's back. I've got really Heath Robinson set up here um, to try and do some above head stuff. Uh, and this is the reason why. This is the carb whoop, uh, taken out from the Kawasaki. Uh, last seen in this position, uh, pissing out of this carb. Um, so consequently, got a new kit, got some new um, repair kit through. Um, and I'll go through that in a second. So this is the carb. You see the addition of a bit of tape here. That's because uh, <coughs> Previous, previous experience has taught me that I routinely get confused over which is left and right when I keep flipping the carb around and moving it around so stuck a bit of tape on so any masking tape so I won't make a mess. Uh, if you remember from the last video most of the leaking seems to be coming out of this side rather than the right hand side so um, a bit of a strip down and a replace bits and pieces. Um, also going to have a look at the float bowls as well, uh, sorry not the float bowls, the floats and the float height, but um, I think it's just the seal, but i um, gonna do a little bit more than that, just in case and while it's off. And while I'm warm, while I'm warm which is nice. Um, so what I've got is the carb repair kit, uh, times two, because uh, my view is although one was leaking, the other seemed okay. There's no point just doing one, I may as well do them both at the same time. They need to come off and kind of I like to keep the balance bit going uh, as much as possible. Um, looking at the kits themselves, not too expensive, I think it was 17 quid including delivery, so not ridiculous. But within the kit, I've got the um, float seal gasket, which was I think the main thing that I needed. but actually getting them on their own is really quite expensive compared to, well I say sorry, quite expensive. You might as well get the whole kit was a, was my assumption after a little bit of uh, digging around and messing around. Uh, also within the kit is uh, the new needle, spring for the needle, there is, see the other one, it's in there somewhere, there we go. You just see that, just about, there are two washers there, one metal, one rubber. Uh, straight assumption is they go on the needle, rubber first, metal second, so that the spring doesn't dig into the rubber and the rubber will expand the pressure to fill, uh, fill the gap. Um, I had to consult over the last remaining element, which is, looks like a watch battery, it's not, it's just a flat circle of metal. Um, and uh, having chatted with uh, Charlie at uh, the Motorcycle Rescuer, another channel, uh, within this and a mate of mine um, seems to be just covers for or I don't know blanking covers um, uh, when you don't have adjustable carbs for tuning so I don't need it but I'll keep it and obviously you've got the um, the float uh, I'm saying plug whatever it's called uh, for the float on the other side as well so two of those uh, what I'm going to do is strip them down and have a look um, Postman's been nice delivering cheap things as well. What I've also got is uh, two new jets. Um, the stock for the Kawasaki is 130. Uh, it had, I think, 126.5, something like that. It had uh, uh, way lower um, when I got it. And part of the issue, as far as uh, myself and Charlie were concerned, was that low piece. Charlie very kindly bought around 130s that we banned in, and we got it running. And I had a video on this channel with me belting around the uh, up and down the road just proving to myself if nothing else that uh, everything was going good before the carb started to leak so I know the 130s work however stock on the Kawasaki is uh, twin exhaust now at some point in that Kawasaki's life somebody has changed that and put a two to one on it and put one I believe the technical term is a big fuck off exhaust um, and myself and Charlie debated, um, in fact, it, and it is on footage as well, uh, whether or not 130 was enough and whether or not it needs to go up. Um, took a bit of a punt at 132.5, mostly because it was on 
eBay and it was cheap. Uh, so therefore grabbed it. I'm debating whether or not to change it because I know it works on 130. Frankly, I think if I've got it stripped down and everything out, I'll put them in uh, and then see if slash how it runs uh, with that in, uh, but we'll see. Um, another advantage of working in the garage and not going anywhere near a bike or my keys for the evening is I have an unofficial sponsor as well, just to keep things going. Um, I've got no intentions of filming everything. I'll probably uh, dip in and out or even just fast forward the bits where I'm doing really boring stuff like unscrewing bits and pieces. Um, so uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so float poles off. Um, just by a tappy tap tap. I feel the same. Difficult to tell heights, but actually, I don't know far off, but um, I'll have a closer look at those in a second. Um, the bit that I want to have a look at is the gaskets themselves. Now, it's difficult to tell, but fundamentally, I can feel a bit of relief on what was the right one and what was the left one, i.e. the leaky one, which feels actually indented. I don't know so much about flat, but indented, um, which makes me feel a little bit better about the fact that my um, theory yeah my theory might have been right and the fact that they're just not holding water well holding fuel um so what i'm going to do is try and get them out and then just do a bit of a compare and contrast with a replacement now i am obviously gonna trash these by oh no, actually i thought i was gonna pretty definitely trash it by getting it out Surprisingly, has come out. Yeah. I don't know if that's just keck or no, it's not glue, it's just keck. Right, so let's do a bit of a compare and contrast. Let's get some carb cleaner in that, may as well, while it's off. Uh, opening one of the packs, and I just want to do a little bit of a Great comparison. Um, you're blatantly not going to be able to see this, and I'm not going to be able to get the focus up, but that is considerably thinner. Uh, unfortunately, they're the same shape and same size, so they'll fit. But he says confidently, let's just chuck it on. Yeah, that's fine. So it's the right one before I start damaging this too much. Um, what I might see if I can do. No, I've got I've got um, measuring calipers, but I don't think it's going to be accurate enough. No, they're in the garage. Um, I can't be asked to go out there, um, and they're not going to be accurate enough anyway. They're only cheapy plastic things. Um, take my word for it. There is a fairly considerable difference between the um, girth of. Uh, the, that one and the new one um, so that does kind of support my general theory put that over with the new one right so that was left let's see if I can get right off as uh, as easily so I'm not too chuffed if I break these or destroy them because the replacements are a few centimeters away However, don't like breaking stuff. Uh, I do wonder if that has been siliconed in at all. Um, again, I've got no calipers, but yeah, I think that's right. That feels, I don't think it's just psychosomatic I think I'm just feeling what I need to there is more girth on the right than there is on the left so I think that was the problem yeah that feels this one the left one that was leaking feels physically thinner uh, than this one uh, that was on the right 
I think that right hand one could probably go back in, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm not going to do that because uh, I've got a fresh one right next to it, so why would I bother? Um, do do. I want to keep that right hand one as a spare, I think, because it works of sorts. Uh, so I don't really want to necessarily destroy that, so I'll leave the slightly gashed up one a little bit screwed up and the okay one flattened out. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to brave the cold of outside. Um, I'm going to give these a bit of a clean out, it's a bit of keck floating around in that anyway. But I also want to clean out these channels uh, for the gaskets because there's no point putting a nice fresh gasket on existing keck and gash because all it's going to do is trash it. I'm going to give these a bit of a wipe out. Uh, I'm going to keep left and right as left and right. Right. I don't think there's anything wrong with those floats because if there is, they would both be leaking. They are both acting fine. But because within the kit I've got the new um, float valves, I'm going to chuck them in anyway. Have a bit of a look at those ones. Um, I'm gonna to have to wiggle it round and I've not got a lot of workspace here with the camera, so I don't think I'm gonna bother filming it. But what I am gonna do, because I've said I was gonna do it anyway, is change over the um, the 130s in there and put the 132.5s in there. Um, I've got it open, I may as well do it. If it doesn't work, all I've gotta do is go for my eighth or ninth <laughs> um, carb uh, strip swap them back out and then see how it goes. Um, what I'm also going to do is just give it a bit of a clean while I'm here. And it's, it's not done enough miles, it's, it's done no miles, it's done 1.5 uh, since it last got a good gauss out so uh, I'm just going to give it a quick waz um, and if nothing else just get rid of some of the keck on the seal because I've got nice new gaskets and I don't want to trash them on old crap. Um, cool, more to follow. Okay, so I will show a little bit of the cleaning actually. I've tried uh, banging in a bit of carb cleaner, got me the oldie toothbrush, but frankly it's so kept on, you're better off scraping it, or it seems better off scraping it. Now, having a, and logically, I don't want to be scraping this with anything metal, because I don't actually want to damage the groove, because all I'm going to do is put a lovely new plas uh, plastic, lovely new rubber seal on something that's now a different shape so I've gone for the good old-fashioned toothpick working on the theory that no matter what this is made out of it's got to be stronger than wood um, so I'm just um, scraping through and scraping around not the most interesting thing in the world to watch so I'm not going to film both of them, but I just want to want to dig out the uh, gasket space so that uh, the new one fits without any uh, any impediment, any artificial impediment. Um, I don't know if the, I don't know what I'm scraping off here. Whether it's just keck or whether or not there was some sort of sealant put in to hold the gasket in place. Um, I'll see, I'll probably film it just for shits and giggles, but I'll see whether or not the new one houses itself or if it needs any uh, assistance in holding itself. Now I haven't googled this but logically there's going to be no fuel, fuel flow uh, onto it so it shouldn't actually matter if I put a bit of sealant on it. I don't want to. I don't like adding anything anywhere near either fuel or working parts. Like, um, you know, strikes me as greasing your brake blocks. Um, brake blocks, brake pads. Um, seems like a bit of a daft thing to do. So I don't really want to do it unless I really have to. So. Uh, What I'll do is carry on with this and stop filming and I'll film trying to house the gasket, see whether or not it works. 
Okay, so a little bit of blasting off, um, a little bit of spray dust uh, air stuff, which um, I've seen in a few videos and I've decided is a godsend. Uh, really chuffed, I nicked it from work. I'm gonna have to get my own stuff because that's really good and there's not a lot left in that bottle. Um, yeah, it fits. Um, I now really wish I'd left the other one on so I could do a straight comparison, but there is a physical lip there, which wasn't there before. So I'm adamant that is going to be a considerably better fit. Um, happy with that. Pretty clean inside. It's not golden, but frankly, it's a 30 year old bike. So it's going to have a bit of kick in it uh, at various stages in its life. And it's survived with worse. I'm happy with that. There is a physical lip there. Holds itself in nice and securely. I'm not going to put anything into, I don't say glue it, but to secure it because um, simple squish pressure when that's uh, back on the carb. Uh, would achieve that quite nicely. Uh, happy with that? Right, I'm going to do the other one next. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother filming the next one because it's much the same. Okay, so that's both of them done. I did notice that on the first one, these aren't completely symmetrical. Difficult to tell. Oh, there we go. Pointer. Uh, so it's not a straight V, it's a like a Nike tick. A Nike tick. I'm not entirely sure when it turned into Nike but whatever, uh, it's a Porsche, Porsche thing. Um, so I've had to flip it back out, turn it over and do it the other way because it's not a direct one. And yeah, there's just, uh, you're not gonna see it, there's no point trying. Um, there is a physical lip there, which is comforting to say the least. Um, so that's the two bowls done. Um, left in the kit, I have, do this live. It's a bit gashy that. Oh. I think what I'll do is I'm going to do it straight on the surface because I don't want to scratch it. There we go. A little bit neater so I haven't got all that keck that's just come out of the carb. What have I got? Oh yeah, so float valve. Yeah, I think I'll just do them one at a time. Uh, I might as well prep this a little bit. So it's got a little rubber on the end to protect the needle. So obviously it's got the loading spring in there. As you can see that. Now eventually that's going to overload and cut into the soft brass. So it's going to need to butt against the little washer. And you've got the rubber one to expand to fill with pressure. So rubber first. Metal second, spring last, and we're all set up to go in. So, got the float valve. As per Charlie's advice, I'm going to keep that but not use it. Float valve, done. Uh, I'm going to get both of those set up. I think I'll do the needles first and then do the floats. Right, so moving on to the needles. Uh, I've lost track of which way round I've got this neck, so I'm still, excuse me, still left and right. That bit of tape's turned out to be a godsend. Uh, I'm going to do the left first. Um, right, so pissing around with the needles. Depends what you read and where when it comes to um, the Kawasaki. Um, the, the government standard if you like, is uh, two and a half turns. Uh, I've read some stuff that says two. I've read other stuff that says it's individual to each bike. Um, I've got these set, if I remember correctly, at two and a quarter. I had them at two and a half and I pissed around and moved them to two and a quarter. Then I've got it running, so I've not done it since. But um, the standard advice sinks. Bloody fuel um, coolant lines are in the way. So before I do anything with it, I'm just going to keep an eye on I'm going to take it all the way in, count how much I've done, uh, because that's what I'll do later when I replace it. So if I do yeah, ratchets on, right, and do it without the ratchet, which would help. That's half, one, half, two, 
that's a two and a quarter, yeah, I thought there was. So there's two and a quarter in. I remember that because when I replace it, I'm gonna to have to do the same again. I'm gonna pull them out and have a look and show you what it looks like and just compare uh, old and new. I can't remember what this looked like. I can't remember if it's okay uh, or if it wasn't. Gonna go. Um, I don't know if there's any little pliers nearby. It'll save me uh, flipping it over and losing the view. I'll see if I can just put it out. Springs obviously still in there. Well, that's interesting. So, spring there. So, the existing had no uh, rubber at the top of it at all. So, I wouldn't be overly surprised if it's also leaking out of that. Um, I'm going to have to turn this upside down now. Didn't want to do a ruin the shop, but I need the spring out as well. Spray some stuff down there later. So that's the that's what I'm replacing with. Oops, sorry. That's what I'm replacing. Um, my spring's just fallen off the end. Just slipped off the end of that. So I'm replacing that with that. Now, if I'm doing a like for like, difficult to get the focal length right. But actually, it doesn't look too damaged. Still nice and sharp. Still got a decent point on it. But, no rubbers on it, no washer on it, can't guarantee the seal. So, so what, the new one's only going to do it better. Uh, right, I'm going to whip the other one out as well. I'm going to give them a bit of a clean as well while it's open. Just make sure that I can see through. Cool. Uh, right, I'm trying to keep old stuff in one place. Can't see through. To where that jet is actually coming out, I certainly can't feel it through. What I might do, and whilst I'm still filming, is do the same with the other side in terms of screw it in, second it. So that's half. One, one and a half, two, two and a quarter, yeah. So at least I've done that bit right before. Let's check on the other side as well, just to out of cure. Well, no, in fact, actually, out of curiosity, just because I've not done this before. Let me just seat that all the way in again. Tight because I don't want to damage anything. I just want to see when all in. Oop. I can actually feel it. Ah, I can feel a burn. So all the way in, and you can, that's an amazingly fine adjustment. Yeah. Right, just did that out of my own curiosity more than anything else. Um, that's why I'm doing this is to learn. Right, let's get that all the way out as well. Now I am willing to put money on the fact that if one side didn't have any rubbers or washers on it, this side won't either. Now whether it never had any, or whether or not the previous, I say owner, the last person that serviced this, just didn't bother replacing it for some reason best known only to them. Yeah, again, where have we gone? In quite a good nick. Uh, 
quite a good nick. There's no chunks out of it. It's not bent. It's the same length as the uh, one that I'm replacing it with. The uh, spring is still in there, but there's no rubbers. It's a bit nuts. Now, it may well have never had any. I don't know. Uh, any other owners of the same bike, please let me know. And we'll see. But um, I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to give that a bit of a gouge out and a bit of a gouge out, a bit of a clear out. I'm going to keep them because they don't actually look that knackered. Just get a little pot all labelled up. I've got one somewhere actually. So I remember what the parts are from. Yeah, and just give it a bit of a clear out and see what happens. Okay, rapidly finding that the best tool I've got within this job, the best tools, the toothpicks. They're also great for pushing out the uh, pillars within the um, float bowl holders, uh, float holders, sorry. Right, oh, that's the second off. This is the one that was leaking. And like I say, I don't think it was a float, so I think it was those seals. Again, it's really hard to do detail on video, so I do apologise. Don't look too bad, don't look too gummed up, look a little bit crappy. I probably should have cleaned them better. But frankly, got new ones, so who cares? Um, look the same, same height. And frankly, I'm not an expert at this, so I'll do. So they look the same brand, if nothing else. Obviously a lot cleaner because they're new. Um, so they'll go in in a second. I think what I might do, that one looks actually a lot dirtier. And it was from the right one, which was was moving uh, easier uh, before. Um, I think what I'll do is just give those a bit of a blast out. Now that brilliant air that I've got has just run out, which is a real pisser. <laughs> That's coming out the overflow, that's weird. I was expecting that to come out elsewhere. That's what I'm going to come out. Straight out the overflow as well. Oh no, I suppose that makes sense. Um, cool. I think what I'm here, let's just move my cloth. It's just a case of giving it. Bit of a dose out while I'm here. Oh, it's coming out quite nicely. That's so that's the main jet. By the fact it's all pouring out of that end, that must be the ignition jet. Oh no, that is wet. Yep, it's coming out, happy. Uh, main jet. Where are my focuses? No, it's just off the bottom of the screen. There we go. Uh, main jet. Oh. Yep, it's coming out fine. Oh. No, it's coming out. Because I'm holding it flat, it's not getting any juice through it. No, oh, it's not coming out as clean actually, so while I've got it, oh, it's because I'm, <laughs> because I was missing the hole. Um, right, happy. Uh, so that's fine, got that bit of a whack out. I need to do the float bowls in. I'll just give them a bit of a tap. I want to give them a bit of a dig out as well. I might just go get some cotton wool buds actually and just do that. Uh, I definitely need to do the housing of the carb where the rubber's going to go because it's a bit of a waste of time doing it unless I don't. So I'll do that next. Uh, I'll clean around in here a little bit just because it looks a bit shitty. I don't think it makes a lot of difference, grand scheme of things. Uh, but while it's open, uh, give that a bit of a clean out. Which is which? That's the main fuel one. Yeah. Give it a bit of a clean out. Definitely clean across the edge here. I won't bother filming it because I'm only scrubbing. It's dull. Um, and then I will.
will put the floats back in and then I will change these 130s for 132.5s which I've got over there, the new ones. Definitely going to keep those though for no other reason they're not mine, they're Charlie's, but actually I might end up chucking them back in. Cool, bro. Okay, that looks like a decision might be made for me because the, uh, the 132.5s don't fit. Uh, there's a slightly different thread. Doesn't look a lot. It might teach me to be a little bit wiser when I'm buying off Tintra Web. However, having potentially wasted three pound, uh, yeah, three pound twenty-five, I think they were. Um, not overly bothered. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, I don't want to screw. <laughs> I don't want to screw the thread. Um, I don't want to mess up the thread. So. Looks like the uh, 130s that are the factory recommend. Yeah, look at that, they just screw in by finger, so there is an issue with those. Uh, lesson learnt. I'll have to check up on what fits. I assumed they were universal, but they're quite obviously not. Um, so I will be doing the 130s when I get all this back in. Right, um, what I've also done is I've cleaned up, I'm not sure how much you can see it. Ah, you can see it quite well on that side actually. So I've cleaned up the remains of the keck uh, on that side. Um, as I've discussed before, I've got a decent edge there, so I should get a good seal out of this, um, which is half of the issue. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, oh sorry, what else have I done? I've also changed the uh, float valves out. Um, done a rudimentary height check and they're the same. Whether or not they're right, I don't know, but they're the same. We've got equal bounciness. I'm not sure there is a formal term for bounciness, but yeah, equal bounciness. Um, probably part of the advantage of being slightly sponsored by Doom Bar is I really can't be asked to look up and see uh, how to adjust them and etc etc I'm gonna wing it a little bit and give it a go see if it works so um, I've changed the valves over got a little bit concerned that when you tap the um, pod itself the valve doesn't move then realize obviously this is upside down to work on it held it up the other way tapped yep fine not a problem so happy with that um, I'm just gonna tighten those up properly then I'm gonna put the float bowls back on uh, nip them up nice and tight. Um, that's it then. Although it's not, I just think while it's off and bearing in mind the coolant um, was dry and really cruddy, uh, the uh, reservoirs were when I first got it. Um, I cleaned out the reservoir, I put fresh coolant in it. I have noticed in one of the, uh, actually the um, bulb next to this side of the coolant that has still got some crap in it. Um, I've tried blowing through these, I've tried sucking through them and I found out that coolant tastes freaking horrible. Uh, but I also don't think these tubes are particularly clear either. So I think while I'm here and this, I've got a sink over there and I'm in the warm and I'm in the dry, I might just undo a lot of these, give them a flush out with water just to make sure they're nice and clear while it's here. Um, and also it's a nice simple job that uh, I can continue to be sponsored by Doom Bar for uh, and, and not risk damaging myself or exploding the house. Um, then once I've done all of that, uh, I'm gonna WD the hell out of the um, idle screw because um, Charlie was mentioning it wasn't catching. It is catching uh, and it is screwed in. The clicking that we could feel was the spring catching and then releasing, um, so I'm just gonna WD that because it's a little bit rusty. Um, I might even consider while it's off. Let me look. Just, in fact, while it's off, I'm going to screw it off completely. Give it a decent rub down there, screw it back on. Um, there's no real requirement to do it, but um, it's a sort of little thing that'll piss me off later because it is quite grindy, but that's entirely grindy because the spring is catching um, rather than it's not screwing. Um, right, so float bulbs back on, bit of a once over, uh, I don't think I'll bother filming anymore, I'm going to make sure I keep all my bits, uh, let's make sure I don't lose anything, um, that I might uh, release.
rely on later in court. Um, and then um, what I'm not going to do is put it back on the bike or try and run it up this evening because it is quite late. I do quite like my labours, uh, my labours, my neighbours, but actually I like my kids being asleep even more. Uh, so I'm not going to mess around with it today. Um, just going to have to wait till the weekend. Um, cool. I think that's successful. I'm only going to find out when I try and run it. Um, but we see how we go. Um, aside from that, all is looking pretty sweet. <laughs>